teachers at St Martin's High School have led the way by proposing an additional curriculum to help gifted students with dyslexia reach their potential. However, the school itself has not supported the proposed classes and says there's not enough genuine demand to warrant the extra resources required. We'll start with you, Kevin. Why are you against this curriculum? Well, there's still some debate as to what actually constitutes the label dyslexia, and I'm not convinced that the school should go rushing into anything that we don't yet fully understand. But if the teachers are willing to donate their time, then surely there's something in this. Well, let me put it this way. I I've got no solid proof that any of the children at St Martin's suffer from dyslexia. Well, I think the 1 in 10 statistic might prove it. Well, statistics can vary depending on who's providing them. So you don't think that Ricky's actually dyslexic? Look, Debbie obviously cares about her son a lot, and I can understand her frustrations, but every time that a child is, is failing, the parents automatically assume that it's either the school's fault or that the child is really a genius with a rare learning disorder. I've got no proof that Ricky is anything other than a wool gatherer. A what? Wool gatherer, in a daydreamer. Yes, right. Yes. Well, what if we could prove it? What do you mean? Well, you keep going on about proof. What if we could prove that Ricky's actually smarter than you think? Then would you agree to help him? Of course, but I don't see how you can. Pop quiz? I'm sorry? Pop quiz. Pop quiz between you and the kid, you know? If he wins, then you've got to support the curriculum. Jackie, forget it. We don't have time for this. I'm, I'm not taking part in any quiz. I just, Why not? Are you scared? No, I just don't see the point. Uh, and, and also, I don't think it's particularly fair to subject Ricky to that kind of humiliation. Well, Ricky, you don't mind, do you? You're into it. See, he's into it. OK, it's agreed. Well, uh, we'll take a quick break and when we come back, St Martin's College Principal Kevin Blackwell takes on Year 12 student Ricky Thomas. What do you think you're doing, Brown? You're out of control. Jackie, we can't go over time. Why? What's on after us? Training pets. The network will kill us if we touch it. <sighs> Look, this is going to be a ratings bonanza. I can feel it. I just need you guys to help me, OK? What if the kid loses? You're going to look like an idiot. That's so given everything that's happened tonight, that's not going to be a problem. Precisely. OK, gentlemen, pop quiz. First, I need to test your buzzers. Ricky? Good. And Kevin? Bullshit. OK, it's first to ten. Name the pop star whose real name is Alicia Moore. Ricky? Pink. Pink is correct. Oh, this is ridiculous. Of all the questions going to be about pop singers and movie stars, I don't think you're making much of a point. Well, it's not going to be about that, so chill out. In automotive terms, are you listening, Kevin? What does NVH stand for? Ricky? Noise, vibration, harshness. Is correct. That's 2-0. Interesting. Name the planet closest to the sun. Bill Mercury. Kevin, you're supposed to wait till I call your name before you answer. I'll allow it, but next time I will deduct points. OK? But that is correct. It's Mercury. What mathematical symbol did Ferdinand von Lindemann coin in 1889? Two bones in your forearm. Take this phrase from the movie Casablanca. What is the gestation period for a cow? Bullshit. Bullshit. Got a bit of bullshit. Bullshit. OK. Match point. A dragonfly has a lifespan of how many hours? Ricky. 24. That is correct. Okay, we're neck and neck now. This is the deciding question to win the game. What year did Abel Tasman... That bullshit Kevin? Me, pal. 1769. It's incorrect, I'm afraid. What? The full question is, what year did Abel Tasman discover oh. New Zealand? Ricky. And um, Kevin Blackwell of St Martin's High School. Uh, we look forward to catching up with you again in the future and hearing about the progress with your new curriculum. She found the world embedded in the snow. It's too bad the